Better than a leg out. Better than a leg out. <laughs> Matthew Jones is in position for a long-range shot. He's with it now, Matthew Jones. Here goes the kick from Jones. Uh, welcome to jo Sorry, people. Good life to leave, John. Sorry, people. We're going to keep that in. That 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 was just an example of what I put up in this house. It was a false start because as I'm trying to get off to a positive start, get a great first touch, someone just stepped on me. Um, welcome to the John's family podcast. Uh, how are we all? We all doing good? I'm good. I'm good. Bit of a mix up in the seating arrangement today. Yeah. For those watching on I the YouTube, a change. Trish said, Trish sitting in my seat. She swapped. I don't know why Jack sat over there, but then Trish said, I want to sit in your seat because it's my good side. Mm. Yeah. She Which, goes, She goes. Oh, I want to switch up today. So, oh, sweet. I'll take your seat. Sweet. And then she goes and sits in your seat. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I just don't think my left side's my best side. You know, maybe next week we'll try it out. Before we before we get underway, I'd like to share this story. And I believe it might have got to start in the Kyle and Jackie O show. I, well, I don't know. I heard it through the grapevine that it did Okay. We'll because I told someone it. about it and they said, oh, we listened to Cooper's radio show and you got to start there. But I'm going to go with I it like anyway. Cooper's it's not radio my show. radio show, oh, although what, I'm a huge integral part of it. Well, it's not oh, mine. Sorry, that's what you tell us. Oh. You said they're looking at calling it the Kyle Cooper and Jackie O show. Oh, that's for next year, I think. Uh, okay. Our favourite artist, or one of our favourite artists, one of the greatest artists of all time, Elton John. Uh, he was in uh, France recently, went to the city of Nice, and the shop owner of a shoe store said that he walked in, didn't recognise didn't recognize Elton John, walked in with two security guys and a couple of young kids and said, "Can I, I need the toilet, can I use your, the toilet? And he said, oh, we've only got staff toilet. And he said, oh, can I use the staff toilet? And they said, no, you can't, it's not policy. So well, if it's he, not policy, Cobber. Yeah. Well, he yeah. said then to Elton John, he turned to one of his security guards and said, can you get me a water bottle? The security guard went and got him a water bottle and he pissed in the bottle in front of everyone in the store and it went all over the floor. The security guard had to down had to get down and clean it up. Ew. Oh, Elton's. When he, Penis yeah. when, out in the store. When you got to go, when you got to go, you got to go. As well, as you, you, as don't you have know, to go in someone's store. As you know, Cobber, with your cowboy boot last year in oh, the back yeah. of your some boots. That's Pissing. quite. Yeah. He's losing his marbles. Well, I think uh, so. He did that story. Did come on the show, and the sh the store owner came on the radio. Did he really? They got him. Yeah, yeah. He came on, and he was talking about it. They were trying to get the intricacies of what his penis looked like, but oh. I don't think he got a look. I think he kind of turned his back. On everyone, did it in front of everyone. Oh, it's good to know you're subtle. Yeah, yeah. But just pulled the pants around the ankles and did it facing away from everyone. Well, the security well, guard. He, shouldn't, he should have been arrested for that. It makes him like He's Elton John. I it's think Elton it makes him John, like babe. I, I think he can change the weather with a call. Why does he just go to a cafe down the road? They're everywhere in Italy and and buy a drink and Sorry, go to the bathroom France, there, man. Trish, France. Oh, it's in France. It's in France. Same, same. I, France. Obviously, I, I think if a toilet was that accessible, I don't think he would have pissed in a bottle in the middle of this shoe store. Mm. Yeah, but, okay, piss outside somewhere. I think in it car sounds park. like he was in a mall. Mm. Yeah. I well, I mean. A mall, it wouldn't be a mall because if it was a mall, there would be I toilets. sort of. I, 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 There's I rumours thought... that Goodbye Yellow Brick Road was written <laughs> because he, he just pisses on everything. <laughs> well, the well, yeah. same thing goes, I piss standing better than I've ever been. <laughs> you got a good tone of voice, Cobber. Yeah. But yeah, he does have it. He does, Jack. Battle. That he does. Yeah, Dad does. Daddy does. Thanks, Coops. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but you blokes, you ever, I don't know. I've pissed myself numerous times. You blokes, you blokes ever pissed your pants? Uh I pissed the bed. I always have this dread, and I know when I'm doing yeah, it. You haven't? Not as not a child. Not here. No. Let me get to the point when I'm about to say. Uh, like when I'm drunk, I will have a dream about me getting up and pissing in the toilet. Mm. But then when I awake from the dream, it's just me in my bed covered mm. in piss. <laughs> Cooper, one of my not, one of my good you're one a real of my heart heart throb. shout out to one of my good friends as well. Uh, played down at the storm with me. I will not name him. Uh, I don't want to discredit him, but. I remember we used to we used to, when we go on nights out. Um, he'd have like he used to hate waking up on his own, so he'd just come sleep at uh, me and Harry's joint, and he'd jump into bed with me all the time, and no, no funny business. And uh, but he was a serial bedwetter, oh. so he pissed my bed like four times. Oh, oh, no. what, what about Cooper? Oh, right. By the way, shout out to Trent Liero with his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's playing wonderful this year at Lock too. Hey, sure. man. Uh, what about Cooper? We won't say his name. An ex. NRL superstar that uh, – and he was retired at this point from the NRL. He'd, he'd maybe been playing elsewhere. That came and joined uh, a Byron trip with us the very last minute 
And then on the final night of our Byron trip, um, peed on. He was it was on a double mattress, so it was like a, it was like an old house that had a mattress that was older and then had like a newer mattress stacked on top. Hence the term double mattress. Double <laughs> double mattress. He's, you're so stretching he this story. On, he slept yeah. on that. The next morning, we looked under the double and it he pissed the mattress so badly that it went straight through both mattresses. Oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah. there was a pool underneath right. the and, and, and Racehorse piss. NRL superstars are loose term and Corey Norman won't mind me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It was Corey Norman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you, Trish? I think when you after you had Only the once. Bo- over when you had the boys, you'd snooze and have a little bit of a pss, wouldn't you? No. No? You never would piss about it. Okay, let's pause. Now if I laugh a little bit too hard, mm. oh, which is, a little bit might come which out. Which is never. <laughs> uh, well, do you remember the City of Surf? When you're running the City of Surf, I remember we were doing it and there was a woman just to the side who was actually running and urinating at the same time. Really? They I do, don't remember Yeah, that. people Ooh. do that. They don't stop for a break when they're trying to break a time. What about uh, High Roller Suite? Cobber at uh, which casino was it? You got told this story. Um, it might have been Crown. In Is it maybe in Melbourne or something? Might have been Crown in Melbourne, and you went for a look, and the the manager there of the high roller suite was telling you that I have to change the carpet yeah. once every couple of weeks because uh, when people get on a hot roll, they, they won't leave. They'll they refuse won't. to leave. They won't. Leave. They want to ruin their rhythm. It's yeah. true. So they'll just piss and what else but themselves lose their on dignity. the spot. And what yeah. else are you saying? Well, I'm possibly Shitting. saying. Uh, there's no way you're sitting at the table defecate? for that. There's no way a roll lasts that Co- long where you have to poo. Yeah. Coops, they'll put, mate, they'll sit at the table for over 24 hours. That's the money they're the dealing with, Coop, I think it's probably going to be worth it, to be fair. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, That's uh, horrific. By the way, there is a one of a, a very, very uh, high-profile media uh, identity uh, who crosses from radio into TV and everything that was well-known that when he has a big night out, he wears a nappy. Oh, oh, really? Continence pads because he, oh, yeah, he, he, he gets on the drink and says that. Yeah. He admits to it. Yeah. Who is it? No, I'm not going to say. Don't say. It. Does he say it? No, sure. I, I sort of have a crush. Can, on can I say one thing? Mm. Cobber, is the first letter of his first name the same as the first letter of his last name? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. It's yes, not. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> Patricia, what about your week, mate? Well, I'm a little bit late today. I apologize. I've been making pizza dough. Oh, have you? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'm learning new skills. Pizza dough. Mm. So we're giving the um, pizza oven a, a crack tonight. Yeah. We'll give you uh, information next week. Good and did I tell everyone, I've actually become a little bit of a cook. Remember the Black Forest cake I cooked the other week, which was amazing. Yeah, yeah. A, bit, a bit strong. That was Literally. interesting last oh, night. The, awesome. uh, the pie you cooked up, it was delicious. Uh, but it was, yeah. yeah. it looked actually, winged. it looked better than, uh, it tasted better than it looked. It, it actually, actually looked like diarrhea yeah. with a piece of with pastry on top. Only when you opened it. It did. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm not a fan of pastry, so I try to minimize it. So it was like in a big dish, so I just put the okay. um, Trish. mixture in and then just put puff pastry on the top, which makes it look lovely. And then you don't have the added calories well, of the short crust. A question. Pastry in the A question. Bottom. If you don't like pastry, just make soup. Because basically, what yeah. you did last night was soup with the pastry sitting on top. Just cut okay. out the middle of it. Been, and it just might make have soup. been a little runny. I also don't like flour. I think I might be a bit gluten intolerant. Oh, jeez. Oh, After so all I'm, these years, yeah. joining the cool gang. <laughs> cool on the gang. No, no, not, not um, yeah, just intolerant. I have oh. quite a sensitive bowel. Cool, oh. cool on the gang, Cobber. What was their yeah. big hit? Was it, Get uh, down on it. Jungle no, Boogie? That's not them. Is Get down on it. Get uh, down on it. No, it wasn't. Uh, uh, do they do uh, do cool the game? No, 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 no. That's no, KC and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> <Sunshine Bears. laughs> <laughs> How dare you say they're a KC? Uh, I mean, I really does it really shake your booty matter? Mm. Shake yeah. your booty. Uh, what no. about you, Coops? Me, uh, I've had a big, I've had a big week. I, uh, it's my birthday coming up. This well, when this comes out, <gasps> well, it's it'll be my birthday on Sunday. It is, and I wanted so, to ask you, Cooper, like what you wanted for your birthday dinner. Matt won't be here, but we'll have it. Nice okay, dinner. we could probably talk off mic about that. And okay. dessert. Trish. Oh, well, I yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't have a preference right now. Uh, I don't really care. But I, I had a, a small <laughs> for my, for a lot of my mates going to Europe this week. So I had a little, uh, I wouldn't say a party, just ten of the boys down at the pub mm. on um, the weekend. Yeah, it's a shame we weren't invited. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. but like, a, so, well, it was no, more for my close he, mates. He did, he did give them a, 
He did Charity. give them an minute. invite, but it was a it was a charity Last invite minute. that. Uh, and we'd already made plans. Maybe an hour before the event started. No, nah, yeah. you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have liked it. No, you're oh, absolutely really? right. I wouldn't have. No, nah, you wouldn't. Have, you you don't know. You wouldn't have liked it. It was, it was too much fun for you guys. Hey, celebrate good times. Oh, Come on. What a turd of a song. Cool the gang. Oh, is it? Oh, oh really? What? Or is it? Trish, we've we've moved so far past, past yeah. that topic. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Turn it off before we get copyrighted. By and then get down on it. It's also this. <laughs> and, uh, oh, what a wonderful that. song that is. That <laughs> is. Get down. What's Cherish that about? You think? Love. What is get down on it about, oh. Trishy? That's about get, dogs. Get down on the dance floor, man. Oh, I don't no. think it is. I think it is. Yeah. I think it refers to cutting lingus. No. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it's not. Do you not think so? No, no, no. I, don't no. Think so. I thought I was it was about. Uh, dogs in their day beds. I was like, come on, get, get down, down on it. <laughs> I don't think get it is. Get down on it. Uh, but last night I went to the premiere of Ned Brockman's documentary as well. Mm. Uh, Ned, who's a, a close personal friend of Jack and I's, uh, when I watched his doco, which was good. Very, uh, very inspirational. Very good. He is unbelievable. How far did he run? 4,000 kilometres from Perth, Perth to Sydney. To Bondi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what he's doing, his next challenge in October, he's going to break the record. He's got to run. 160 kilometres a day. Mm. And what he's going to do, he's not running to a place. He's just going to go around a track, which I reckon to be triply dangerous because you're getting, no, you're getting no different no, stimulus. I disagree. I think in terms of terrain, your terrain's... Uh, well, that's your terrain's consistent, at least. You know mm. what I mean? Like, on a track. A, as much, it'd be yeah. more to do with your mind, obviously, yeah. well, going around in a circle. Yeah. But in terms of the challenge itself, I think it's a lot... It's mm. easier simply because you've got... Consistency in terrain. Well, what I was thinking, I was looking. Going, I understand that from that angle, physically, but mentally, to look on the map and go, I'm going to go going through Coonabarabran tomorrow, and then I'm going off to here, and you're getting support from all different people in different towns. No, yeah. I will people say, will be coming to support I will say that the, no the doco uh, yesterday showed like the first probably ten or fifteen days from Perth to uh, to Sydney. He said the hardest part was like truckies. Like every time a big truck would Dunk go past truck. him, like. He said it'd shake his bones, and so he said he had nightmares for like months after about trucks mm. going past him. And he said the headwind—he was running into a headwind, oh. and there was a thirteen hundred elevation in the first two hundred kilometers. There was a like one point three k elevation, so he was running uphill basically the whole time. Mm. So sorry, is is he trying to break a record? What's the record? The record for this next one yeah. is he's got to run. It's like. I think it's like a thousand kilometers. It's like the quickest thousand kilometers. He so wants to beat to... the thousand kilometer. So it's like he, in ten days. In 10 or days. So, yeah. so he wants to do it in the best possible conditions and on a track he can control those, like being straight, not elevated, and and all of that. Well, what yeah. about this, Trish? So you always think time. about that 160 k's a day, and you go, "Oh, okay." But what? You've got to understand. He said it'll take. He said it'll take me anything between eighteen and twenty two hours to do, complete it. Which means some nights he has two hours sleep. He's got mm. to get up and go. How, again. Did, how does he do that? Well, he was doing that in the Perth to, bon to Bondi run as well. Get two hours sleep, and he said sometimes he'd just lay there and couldn't sleep, oh, and then man. he'd just get up and run another hundred k the next day. Yeah, and, and like wow. what, what was he saying on your show the other night, Cobb? When you had him on, he was saying that. Uh, well, what if you get like you know two hours sleep? He just goes, oh. Should have ran faster, I guess. Yeah. So he's going to be pretty. Ah, he's going to you're going to get a good gauge on how he's going to go early on. Like if he's not getting that sleep in early, like especially in those early few days, if he doesn't get his sleep in, the back end of it will just tear him to shreds. Yeah. Oh God, well, I know it, who I get when I don't get my sleep. There was a, there was footage of him. Uh, they took off his sock and he had maggots going oh, through his I big heard toe. That. And the the physio who was talking in the documentary said. It was actually the best thing for him because he had a really bad infection, his big toe, and maggots got in, ate the infection, and then once they washed the maggots out, like it was completely clean, clean oh, because wow. the maggots. Good on the maggots. That. Three cheers for the maggots. That. Another thing about maggots therapy. that I heard today on the radio, there was a lady overseas who was having an orgasm for 72 hours and she went into the hospital to get treated for it. Turned out maggots. So they had her and her partner had used mayonnaise for lube. Sorry? Mayonnaise. Yep. Try to stay with me. Mayonnaise for lubricant because they obviously didn't have anything else and they didn't want to use the water-based lubricant because that dries up and causes yeah. friction in case you and Dad ever tried it before. True that. Appar allegedly. Anyway, they used egg-based mayonnaise. Obviously, a fly had gotten into it and laid lava. Oh into the mayonnaise. So went into the mayonnaise, okay. not into her downstairs region. And maggots had birthed in there and were obviously – I don't know what they were doing in there or – they found really? they knew something that obviously we don't, Dad, because they were making her orgasm for seventy two hours. <laughs> what country? Maybe. Was this uh, what, in? Well, well you're speaking for Dad there, Matthew. What's that? Do you know that? Did you know that? What's that? That that would do that to you. 
72 hours. Oh, that's nothing, is it, Trish? <laughs> <laughs> what country was that in? I don't know. God. Watch that. Tr- watch Does it make a difference? Any mayonnaise that's on the shelves <laughs> is about to get that, absolutely wrong. wrong. Yeah. Was it low um, fat mayonnaise? Anyway. I've got, I do have a question about the Ned Brockman um, Shoot. doco. Shoot. Did he talk about what went through his mind as he was running? Is that, yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. going to share a little bit? You'll just have to wait and watch. Whoa, oh, wow. Teased. Hook and tease. No, I mean, I'm not here to sell it, I suppose. But, like, um, no, he did. And a lot of it's just the psychological pain. Like, anybody who's done hard training would know, like, the head noise you get when you – especially on long runs, when mm. you're running for hours and hours mm. on end. I can't believe it. And, and there were sometimes he couldn't run, so he's just walking – like, just limping down the highway. And it's just truck. He's going longer. Mm-mm. Limping down the highway. Going to a show. How many, how, how many day, uh, cages was he clearing on average a day? Sorry, Kurt. At 100. It's, wow, yeah, and now a, he's going to do 160 a day here. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty like backing that up, like trying to do it day to day. It did oh. it 47 days straight. Like, you know, when you're motivated, it's easy to say that. It's obviously a big challenge when you're motivated, but to do it on days where you wake up and it's just the last thing you feel like doing or your body wants to do, how and, he did that. And pretty, he physically, like his feet, you know, it was bad, a, condition. A, a weird connection that we share, like – at the start of the docker, I had a picture of him playing for this private school, Kinross, down, uh, I think it's down Orange Way, as a team. And me and Jack used to go to St. Augustine's. We used to play against Kinross in Union. And me and Ned are the same age. And I was looking at a picture of him and thing, and I go, oh, f- I, know, I know that face. Like, I've seen that dude before. And after the thing, I was like, because we've met him a heap of times. And I was like, you used to go to Kinross? And he's like, yeah. And I said, do we ever play against each other? He's like, yeah. He's like, dude, we played against each other heaps. And I was like, oh. I was like, why didn't you ever say anything? He's like, oh, I just thought, like, you knew. I don't know. He's like, <laughs> he he's like, I knew. don't know. I thought I just never. I thought like we just knew. What position did he play? He played. So funny story. I remember the game we played against each other, and he told me one of his uh, mates had passed away that morning. Oh, so he was in geez. a real sorry for downer, uh, but he was in a really sh- like shit mood. He said he said he was sitting at home and he said whoever I don't care about this game today. I'm just going to go out there and take whoever's head off is in front of me. Unfortunately, it was me. And I remember the game because every time I'd pass it, this little shit would just like hit me across the chin, like basically just like punching me in the head and like just hitting me so late. And I kept being like, what the f- Like, what have I done to this bloke? Like, I don't know what he's got against me. They ended up, he ended up getting red carded Did and he? like oh, got wow. sent off. But that was Ned Brock. Who would have thought 10 years later? Well, I'll tell you what, you guys are very lucky the game didn't go for 18 hours. So imagine him. And the- would have worn me down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, can I give one more shout out? As well. How there many shout outs today? I want to give a shout out to uh, our mate, our close personal friend of the podcast, Nico Hines, going into oh. surgery uh, today after a, an ankle ankle break and uh, syndesmosis. But um, I wonder if he's got my surgeon. Don't know. He's Highly a, probable. Probably what? Probable. Probable. Trish, what about if we just call a it's surgeon? Probable. No. Yeah, my he's not s- exclusively yours. He doesn't live in the house. Well, no, he you let him out of his you. cage every day. He, he operated on you, Matt, and he operated on Kalen. Yep. He does a lot of the footy players. He oh, very wow. hard. He's done probably. a good. He did a good job with you. He did. <laughs> he really took you. I'll tell you what, he did a good job with Kalen. Don't know about you, Trish. You're still living around. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, club oh. foot. Uh, I sort of ran down the stairs uh, a little bit Cooper? before. Oh yeah. Sorry. Back to the shout out. A bloke who's had a lot of criticism over the last month, um, but a couple earlier in the week, he uh, talked down somebody who was about to jump off a cliff and commit suicide. Uh, he was driving Nick, to Nick, yeah, he was driving to Craig Fitzgibbon's house to do mm. a video session, oh. and seen a bloke, seen traffic banked up, and a bloke was hanging over the side. Oh, Nick, literally. everyone else was just watching. Nico ran out and talked him down, and got oh. him, brought him into his car, and drove him um, down to the police station and looked, sat with him, looked after him. So, uh, something that probably doesn't get reported a lot in the wow. media from someone who's been getting uh, hammered a lot. But uh, there's a big support behind him in social media. Oh, so man. from the John's family podcast mm. uh, and a, a real good bloke. It shows, He's a real it good shows bloke. somebody who's going through a, you know, a, a tough period, um, but puts others before himself because not, not many people do that. Do you so. know the thing about it is wow. Coops is that, okay, there's been a disappointment with the state of origin, but honestly, when you get to the end of your career, there's two things that really matter. One is the relationships you make in the game, your friends, and all the memories from that. And number two is is one of the greatest things is to win a competition with your mates in your club team. Yeah. Like that that's like Mal Meninga at the end of the eighty nine grand final and they run on the field and said, Mal, how does that feel when he won at Canberra, their first ever comp? And he said, 
it's better than playing for Australia. It's better than playing uh, for Queensland. This is what it's all about. Mm. And so well, for Nico, that's like I reckon the next couple of years. They've got Fenua Blake going there next year. They're a very good chance of yeah. pinching a competition. But even so, the best thing about Nico is like he's going to look back in, in twenty years' time. He's not Nico doesn't really Nico's not going to give a shit about you know when he won the Daly. I'm not going to win if he cares about exactly. the comp. He's going to look back on what he did earlier this week, and that's probably going to be mm. the highlight of Nico's life. Being able mm. to because yeah. he's such a big advocate for net, mental health. So God, um, the difference you can make to people's lives. Yeah, yeah. So he's what a, a great shit. man. God, he makes me feel like a dead shit. <laughs> All the good things he does. He really does. Damn you, Nico Hines. Yeah. Damn, I'll tell you what we'll do. Can we take a real quick break? And um, we'll be back with some oh, weights for the stuff we got when you come back. Very good. Welcome back to the Family Podcast. It's time for Perfect Partners. That sounds like a Perfect Brothers. Yeah, okay, just shush, Matt. Very sorry, John. John's, John's one. You, uh, in another life, would have been a like a jazz singer or something. Like oh, no, mate, Pianist? Game maybe? show host, Tony Babar. Yeah. Okay, Jack, uh, I'm going to ask Cooper. I'm going to ask you, sorry, questions about Cooper. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, and Cooper, you. Uh, I'll be tell asking us Cooper. If, yeah, and you'll be asking Cooper. Mm-hmm. And Jack's got to answer. Sure. Clear, okay, as, Jack. clear as mud. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just actually, start, Matt. Jack, what is Cooper's favorite band? Uh favorite band. That's tough. Yeah, that is. That tough. is a tough. Coops likes his different stuff. Maybe um, style of music of all time. No, I might go. Um, oh. Jeez. Uh, mm. uh, mm. uh, I think I know. Mm. Trish, just try to stay out of it, Trish. <laughs> Can't help yeah. herself, can she? I think Cooper likes Coldplay. Oh, do you know how close you were then? Cold Chisel. Oh, oh wow. Uh, when I heard Cold, I thought, man, oh, he's on. No, wow. no, Cold Chisel. Yeah. Oh, I would have gone Barnzo, but Barnzo's not a band. Yeah, yeah but what about Mariah Barnzo's Carey? Barnzo's a brand. Remember, you remember his you? Mariah Carey face? No, oh, I remember no. Jet yeah, yeah, when yeah. he was a kid. He was, he was Jet. Yeah, nah, oh, yeah. I fell out of love with Jet. Right, oh. so Coo- Jack, you know what? You didn't get it, but you're almost Close. worth half, half a point. What is Cooper's favorite movie? Uh, favorite movie? Oh, Jesus, this is going to be hard too. Yeah. It, I think it's going to be a rom com. I'm going to go with oh, something with Ryan Gosling, maybe. I can tell you right now, it's not a rom com. Oh, yeah, it'd be one of those. It's so a it, comedy. You can have a crack. Oh, at that. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, ones. It was, it was, oh, it was, yeah, I must just say, super bad. Mm. Close. I like. Th- I like the other guys. Oh, uh, you do, yeah. 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 Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, Dirty yeah. Mike, and the boys who yeah. always those ho- the group of homeless men who always break into his Kia <laughs> and have orgies. Yeah, <laughs> Dirty Mike. Yeah, yeah. That is good. Hey, I yeah. tell you what, I watched last night, but halfway through it, this is the end. How good, oh, how good is that? that? That gets better with age. And I all think. the super bad boys get a mention. Mate, they get a... Yeah. Michael, Michael that, Sarah is mate. A, he's he's a just a dirtbag. Oh, so. it's yeah, so yeah. good. He's in there just doing like coke and like hitting on all the chicks. Just and doing like, yeah. just doing toot nonstop, hitting on all the girls. Yeah. Okay. And McLovin's a real square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Cooper's favorite sport outside of rugby league. Jack? Uh, Cooper's favorite sport outside of rugby league. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. AFL. He was living in Melbourne for a bit. Mm. Yeah, you're probably right there. I don't okay. really support a lot of sport outside, but I'm a Melbourne Demons man in the there AFL. So shout out to the D's. D's one, nuts. One from three. You're doing. You're doing well there. Okay. Cooper's favorite color. Uh, Cooper's favorite color. I think Cooper's favorite color is. Uh, I'm gonna go green. Blue. Oh, oh, See the eyes? I was trying to get you to These look at eyes. my and, eyes. And, and These the, eyes. And the last <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Sarah, shout out. Uh, and the last one, Jack, Cooper's celebrity crush. Cooper's celebrity crush. Right gonna, now? Right here, right now? Uh, I'll tell you what. Current, just current. name one in the last five years. Right? Now. If you can name one in the last I've got, five I've got years. her in my head. She's like the last two years. So you think she. That. Yeah, well, <laughs> Well, I am a straight man, Trish, so we do, mm. it's a celebrity no, I crush. I definitely have man crush. Matt's yeah. got man crush. Yeah, that's, that's true. Big time. Who? <clears throat> Nico Hines. <laughs> <laughs> Ned uh, I'm going to go with uh, Margot Robbie. Nah, oh, do a leaper. She definitely do had a, her crush. Do a leaper. You know her? She's yeah. a singer? Yeah. She's yeah. a singer. English. Uh, Pommy. Oh, yeah, right. I love Pommies. You do? Yeah, pomegranate. Mm. Okay. Uh, no, just go ahead with you and your same set of questions sure, for the other. Yeah. Sure. Okay. What is Jack's uh, favorite band? 
Oh, geez, that's tough. He's that got is, so many. Yes. Mm. He yes. has a broad range of music. Um, I mean, I'd... I'd hmm. Would you, would you accept the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Jack? Nah, no. there's two bands. Were... There's two bands I'd accept. It was probably Zeppelin or Rolling Stones. Oh, yeah. I wasn't going to say either. these old souls. I was going to say the Beatles. So, I say old souls. So, so. <laughs> okay, both. What is Jack's favorite movie? Can you give me the genre? Because oh, I gave you one. Would you do that for a mate? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of the genre. Um, trying to think like of the genre it's fair drama, to say comedy. Uh, it, it's a it's a hard one, Coop. Oh, what do you mean? Have you got the movie in your head <laughs> so or not? Yeah, or no, no, comedy? it's actually hard when you know what movie it is. It's, is it a uh, dramedy? <laughs> it's like That's crime, a crime drama, dramedy, mm. crime dramedy. Yeah. So crime, crime drama, and comedy. It's wow. got a bit of everything. Sounds like the director got a little mixed up. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't know. I'm actually. curious to know which. Well, when you know is. what it is, I wouldn't really know how to classify human, it as. To be honest, human centipede. No. I don't know. Okay, Jack, give us one person in the movie. Um, Doesn't have to be the major star. Colin Farrell. Oh, the gentleman. Yeah. Oh, oh, that well done. Uh, nice uh, one. What would you? What would yeah, you call yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't say it's a comedy, is it? Definitely would be. of it. I'd say it's a black comedy. Yeah. yeah, like oh, stupidity mate. bits in yeah. it, so like a like dark like comedy. That, yeah, yeah. Stupid, stupid. No, you know, Whoa. like there's a couple of characters. In I, there. I, I <laughs> did you mean dark comedy then, Cover? Okay, black comedy. No, black comedy is yeah. I yeah. certainly wouldn't say crime. Mm. I don't even think crime is a. Oh, oh, it, it, well, well, it is crime. That goof, mate. You crime seen it? one of the major. What were they doing that was illegal in there? Selling ganja, Mary Jane, and and wasn't it murder? Mary Jane. Radio. Jack's favorite sport outside of rugby league. Tennis? <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> I've been trying to get Cooper to play tennis with me for like the last month and he's just refusing. It has uh, to be it's, tennis. It's not tennis. And you I'm unable to play with you. I apologise. Oh, it's that ankle again. Jack doesn't watch any other yeah, sport really surgeon. outside of rugby league. Um, I certainly wouldn't. I wouldn't put tennis though in it either. It's like, not like I watch tennis. All but though. you don't watch anything. Yeah, what other sport do you watch? Um, I don't. I don't know, even know what what else I watch. To be fair, Coop, I'm not well, really. Well, then NFL let's say guy. what you participate oh. in, and you participate is, with tennis. Is Jack, tennis is your answer. Is Jack the hardest person to do this? Is Jack game? actually got a life? <laughs> uh, Jack's Jack favorite doesn't even know himself. Jack's uh, favorite color. Hang on, he might be colorblind. <laughs> yeah. Is it grey? Is black it vanilla? Or white? Um, um, actually, that was my nickname there for a bit. Jack's what? favorite color. Oh, nice. uh, I think Jack's off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure Jack's favourite colour is red. No, it's blue. Oh, Always has wow. Been. Blue by you. Blue balls. Okay, and lastly, Jack's celebrity crush. Oh, well, this one's an easy one. Um, Jessica Simpson in The Dukes of Hazard. I remember Jack no, used to have I, a post. <laughs> Yeah, maybe like, tw what, 15 years ago. Yeah. She's not that good in real life. No. Nah. Have you no, met her? Hang ever? on. Yeah. Hang on a second. Nah. Jessica Simpson. Ah, yeah. she was on Kitty's flight. got claws. Jessica Simpson was on your flight. Yeah, yeah, do you want to hear the funny story about it? Story Didn't you times. think it was Britney Spears? Yeah. She was on the flight and I looked <laughs> and I had my earbud, earphones in, listen to music, and I turned to Trish, you know how loud you're talking to and I went, hey, Trish, have a look at that. Britney Spears is on the flight. And I turned back and she was just staring at me, <laughs> give me a filthy, give me a stinky eye. And I thought, oh, okay. And Trish goes, it's Jessica Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> what, was she, what was Britney Spears, what was Jessica Simpson doing in economy? No, she was in economy. Oh, hey, hang on a second. Hang on. Where were you no, guys? It was an internal flight. Um, I can't remember where we're flying from. We're flying. We flew from Nashville to LA. Uh, uh, yeah, that's exactly where the flight was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um, okay. So who was your celebrity cast check in there? Uh, Jessica Alba. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> look at it. Wow. Yeah. She's aged well too. Yeah, yeah. she has. Well, um, we'd never do that. Game again with Jack. Selma Hayek has as well. Man, it's my celebrity crush, Selma Hayek. Yeah, I saw a picture with her at Wimbledon with her husband. He looks 100. <laughs> okay, but Trish. apparently she's he's loaded. Same. Glass house is true. <laughs> but apparently she's loaded. Uh, and he's loaded. Next week, what do we do? I reckon we go, uh, Trish, you or me, we go those two in the corner. Oh, no, we're not doing this. We're not nah, doing this nah. every week, Jack. We've got to it up. I'll come up nah, with a new sweet. quiz. <laughs> it's called Cooper's Quiz. Yeah, okay. Uh, should enough. we then take a break? Uh, let's take a break on that note after that fun after that fun, I was going to say fun fact, but fun segment. And um, well, next, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the John's Fairly Podcast. Uh, okay, who wants to pick up? Trish, that would be me. Trish, you got to rotate okay. anything. I was thinking the other day about um, you boys when you were little and your favourite toys. Do you remember what your favourite toys were? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, no. Transformers. 
loved you. You love Transformers and I love like that shit, man. Optimus, I love that shit because I've actually turned on and there was a Transformers movie on and it was Optimus Prime and I went, oh my god, mm, Jack used to love it and you yeah. had the big Optimus Prime. I also I, loved I, Buzz I a, Lightyear. I was a I was a f- dumb kid, man. I I, Why? I um no, I took yeah. me Jeez. took Didn't me way know. too many years to realize Optimus Tr- Prime was the good guy and Megatron was the bad guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I thought it was never, the other way around. Yeah, <laughs> really? that's, yeah. it's just I never that's, saw it. Yeah, that's, that's the good in you not seeing yeah, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like that's the opposite of that. Trish. Do you remember with Cooper, Matt? He um he used to walk around. He walked around forever, like we're in England with an elephant. Yep. Yep. And remember, he used to sing the song and elephant. do the steps. Elephant. Is that a song? Elephant. Yeah, I, I think it might have been from Barney. We were living in England. Yeah, right. Watched a little bit of Barney. Barney's a creep. Barney, I, um, yeah. Barney is a creep. Yeah, I don't. I I I do like elephants. Like elephants are. Uh, I find cool. them. You're just obsessed. like yeah, Which when I was in South African Africa, African or Indian elephants? Africa. When I was over in South right. Africa, the other ones they're not Indian; they're Asian elephants. There's oh, Asian. no Indian. Mm. I yeah, don't yeah, think there's. Do you mind, Matt? But India is part of Asia. Asia. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Geography wise, <laughs> just learned something today. Uh, but yeah, I would go probably African. We I saw uh, a couple of them when I was over in South Africa early in the year. Just very majestic creatures. Mm. They're beautiful, and I just find they've got excellent memories as well. So yeah. I just find them extremely intelligent, extremely beautiful, extremely loyal and protective animals. They are as well. they, the way so, that they that um, right there travel listeners, in their families. That right there, listeners, is, is about as sensitive yeah. as you'll ever hear, Cooper. Yeah. It's, I, a, um, it's a matriarch. So what they do is they yeah. cast the male out, the bull out, and they just yeah. wander by. They just wander by themselves aimlessly, bull elephants. Do and, they? Yeah. You ever and, seen that movie with Sacha Baron Cohen? Uh, uh, Grimsby, yeah. When he gets, uh, oh, he has yeah. to hide inside the elephant. Yeah, very, very good. It's very <laughs> funny. You ever seen it? No. Oh, you should watch it. You yeah. crack up. I, you know, I don't find him that funny. To, a what? Borat. I liked Ali G. Yeah. Borat? Nah. Ali G. Nah, yeah. it's a little Borat silly. Is in my opinion the top three characters in comedy history. I think so too. Mm. Yeah. Ali G is very good too. But I, I liked think... Ali G. I really liked him. Mm. The concept yeah. of doing it like. Just with people that weren't in on it is just so good. Oh, yeah, he I, picked the right it when you go to the Americans. He went. He he targeted like Americans, and he used to target like high society English. Mm. Yeah, that is really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so so many good scenes in it. Now, have got, you seen that? This is America as well. He's done it where he goes into the sort of the heartland of America during um, and he sort of catches people out and. It's quite funny when he gets some like gets those Americans very comfortable. Like that's that's yeah. his big tactic. Yeah. He does everything yeah. he can to get them really comfortable with them. Yep. And then start then as like he sort of got them, he starts going into those yep. those Weird. areas. That, and then if they start going with him, it's it, it's, it's really funny because Americans are very polite for, for very for polite. the main part polite. So they're looking at Borat. They're probably taking him. Probably they're feeling a bit of sympathy for him. And they're just trying to be really nice, even though he's asking these ridiculous questions. And they try and explain things really like, oh, no, no, we don't do that here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I think probably Bruno was his edgiest character. I don't know if anyone <laughs> saw yeah. Bruno. Hey, my name is Bruno. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That was probably the one where he caught the, the most backlash, yeah. I think. I, I love the one in Borat where he's at that dinner party in the high-end aristocratic English people, and he starts to talk about, what, what, what if I needed dirt? And she goes, oh, you just get up and excuse yourself to the toilet and away you go. Anyway, he gets up and goes, he looks at her, nods and goes, eh, excuse me, I need to go. And she goes, oh, oh, yep, okay. So they're all sitting there. He comes back 40 minutes later and he's got the shit in a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what should I do with this? Oh, I, my Lord. I've seen, a, I've seen an interview he did where he said when he was bored, that was his tactic. He said to make people feel sorry for him, he would whenever he would enter a new place, his first thing he'd do, and sometimes it was off camera, mm. he would always go in and say, Where where do I I need to where do I do a shit? Because he's he said <laughs> that was very good. He said like if somebody's coming into your area and their first instinct is to ask you they need to do a shit, like psychologically they would feel sorry for him and they'd be like, oh, yeah, you can go do a shit in here. And or so, disgusted by him. Yeah, but people would most likely feel so secondhand embarrassment for him that then they'd let him get away. So yeah. that's his, that was like his way of getting people on board. Do you remember the NBN rollout? Well, I tell you, I didn't feel sorry for the guy. The, come, the guy came into the house <laughs> with the NBN rollout, went under the thing to have a look at our internet uh, or look at our Wi-Fi. Mm. Uh, we didn't see him for about 15 minutes. I don't know what he was doing under the <laughs> stairs where he was sleeping. He wasn't fixing it. And then he walked out and said, uh, before I go, can I use the toilet? We said, yeah. I went, yeah. 
good as cold. Mate, he was in there for like 15 minutes there and then just I hear the flush and then, oh, thank you, guys, I'm done. And me and Trish looked at each other and go, okay, <laughs> okay, who's going to wear this one? Who's going to go in there and spray? Anyway, oh, I went in there. He took the, Not only did I have it. to do a bit of spraying, I had to do a little bit of scrubber. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I just don't understand people that would not use a scrubbing brush if it's there. Yeah. Well, Jade, okay, you are- Matt, you, as a kid, what games or toys do you remember? I remember Flashback uh, in time. I remember Pong. Pong, what's Pong? Atari. Atari Pong. You know what? Who's that? Ding. Where you're hitting the tennis. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Ding. How old ding are you? Ding with two bats. Uh, I remember Frogger as a kid. And I remember those little games like Donkey Kong. What's it was Frogger? On. Hey, Frogger, remember the frog we used to have to leap from had to get to the very lily top pad of the pond. For lily pad lily to to uh Hang floating on, are these wild. all electronic games? Yeah. They oh, go yeah. back further. Go back further. Let's yeah, progress. we're talking about like like Jack said the um, uh, Jack said transform like your physical yeah. figurine. Oh. Like when you're like five. But you know what? Like I'll be honest with you, we spent all the time outside oh, play playing three. cricket, football, soccer. Wow! Did you ever have trouble? Remember the game Trouble? You press. I was the in thing. trouble yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> and Boggle Trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, enjoyed yeah. those games. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. I enjoyed that. Oh no, that was a bit later. Because Andrew was. Pretty ordinary. Oh. You'd be surprised at <laughs> Trivial Pursuit. He would, every time he got a question story. wrong, he would hurl the uh, Trivial Pursuit uh, table straight across the room. Oh, dear, sweet yeah. word. Because, well, um, yeah, well, I suppose that's, you know, credit to you and Andrew just getting outside. It's a lesson to all kids that you don't need electricity to have fun. You get out there and you get physical and you don't know what you can achieve. So well, I'll tell you, credit how, to one you. day, Chris, Christmas Day, all I wanted, I, I went and I put a gun and more, gun and more cricket bat on – on lay by and set it there, and I went half with mum. I was putting money on it every time, <laughs> trying it. to get it. Anyway, Christmas Day, I knew it was coming. Got the new gun and more bat. It was like white, white with any. It was just mate. It was the Mickey Mouse. It was oh, Jerry Krause. Oh, your birthday's coming up. Anyway, Are they still around? So it's standing no. there. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I was batting for a while, and Joey said, oh, "Can I have a bat?" And I said, "Because our our uh-uh. our." Our wicket used to be at 18 gallon drum. And I've gone, yeah, yeah, sweet. So I've bowled, got Andrew out for a golden duck. And he's gone, mate, you can't get our first ball. Okay, <laughs> give us here. Bang, bowled him second ball. No, no, technically that's still first ball. I said, that's not. Get back. Anyway, he blew up and smashed my brand new cricket bat <laughs> against the 18 gallon drum. It was literally wood chips everywhere. Oh, Did he no. get into trouble for it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did he oh, pay yeah. you back? Uh, no. Did you get a new bat? Uh, no. No. Maybe we should wow. we should try to chase him up for it now. Not bloody wrong. Yeah, we need yeah. to give him a call. Yeah. Give him an invoice. Yeah. Oh no, let's let's not do <laughs> yeah, that. Let's not give him a call. Wow, what a shit. What a shit brother. <laughs> what a shitty little thing. Do we have any oh. feedback? And he Trisha? blows up about um, me rapping Billy Slater. What, do you not want How to know? Petty. I, um, see, I I grew up where I lived at the bottom of town, next door to the service station. On the other side, I lived next to um, Mrs. Jenner, my old. Uh, widow neighbour. We so, don't know who that is. is yeah, no, of course you no. don't know who it is. That's why I'm telling you. Oh, right. So she was an old lady. So I used to go in there all the time. We'd watch the cricket together and she used to teach me cards. Um, Mrs. Jenner liked to gamble. Mm. So She had a problem. Um, she taught me blackjack. So like at five, we were always playing blackjack and stuff yeah. with all the other grandkids. That's cool. Yuka. Canasta. Yeah, yeah. Yuka's a good game. Five yeah. I, I like play five cards with my great grandmother. I love quite that. A bit. Yeah. I love that. Play, my great grandmother, I've never seen anyone Dealer. shuffle cards like her. She could shuffle cards, all the tricks, everything. Yeah, she was she was red. <laughs> all hot. the tricks? What I mean is red hot as far did as Did you ever play Briscola in your Italian family? I did. I did play uh, I don't know if it there's two games. I don't know if it was Briscola or the other one. I've bought the cards upstairs, um, but I can't remember how to play it. Okay. Yeah, there was a game. But it wasn't Briscoe, it was the other one. Frank, do you know the name of the other one? Scolpa. 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 Thank Scolpa. you, Frank. Yeah, That's that was Frank. Fun. That's Frank, by the way, anyone, in case he's, if yeah. you picked we're up in, that we're audio. We're in transition. Yeah. Tabby's leaving us. Tabby's leaving and us. And Frank's, Frank's in. Frank's taking over. Yeah. Frank's, Frank's quite the Lothario we hear, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Frank the tank. I'm, I'm looking down at the rundown, Trish, as well. You wrote down Yuka, uh, yeah. but you spelt it Y-U-K-A. Do you know how to spell it? It's, um, it's E. It's E, yeah. Yeah, sorry. E-U-C. Not that it's a big issue, but oh, I just... Yeah, it sounds like you're being a bit anal there, Oh, mm. God. It well, certainly is. Anal Someone Cooper. has to be. Mm. <laughs> okay. A <coughs> little bit of feedback, people. We've got lots. Remember how we spoke about Sizzler last week? Well, Court was telling me, after listening to our podcast, she noticed on the radio up in Brizzy somewhere that there's going to be a Sizzler pop-up store. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. and, one of them, and I think it might be, and I Googled it to just double check the facts, and apparently Kiss up there, uh, Kiss the radio, radio station, station yeah, Cooper. are behind it, um, and they're doing some sort of pop-up scissor store up there. I love from that. From July 16th. Get so me up there, bro. I'll suss it for you guys. Get me up I'll there. I'll suss it. Uh, can we Which is next week. Try to get it down, go on here too. Mm. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Bruno. I'll ask Kyle. Thanks, Bruno. And in regards to <laughs> the dining pizza hut, there's quite a few, well, there's not quite a few, there's about eight or so. Loads of people got back to me, which Quite I appreciate. Thank you to everyone. Um, Jasmine in Newcastle, oh. Orange, Minto, um, Hawkesbury, Toowoomba, Browns Plain, mm. uh, just south of Brisbane, Ballarat, there's one, and Quite Tassie, there's one. Quite a list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bit of discrepancy about price. No one could give me a, a, a mm. consistent price. 16 to $26 mark. How much kids, kids eat for free? No, they eat at a lesser rate. I think that's oh. about $16 for kids. Yeah, I mean, that's still value. $16 mm. is what you get one pizza for. If you go there starving, if you mm. fasted for a couple of days, you could go there. Well, that's if you're a kid, yeah. You could eat a lot. Do you remember Homer and uh, Homer went to the uh, all-you-can-eat seafood place? And, and uh, they, they they threw him out. Is there a like, time limit on those things? Like, well, that's okay, it. You, you, you're the pit sizzler king. Was there a time limit? Because, you know, you got your meal and the salad bar or just the salad yeah. bar you I think, get I think, too. I think it was till, I think it was 9.30 at Chuck. So you had to be no, but you would have to. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to. Literally, you just you buy your seat. You can't you, be there. There yeah. goes breakfast. <laughs> wait three hours. There goes lunch. Wait three hours. Five probably, hours. There goes dinner. I well, don't I, think I, you think, could. I think I think each. I think be. each. There's a break. Like each from lunch to you couldn't sit there from lunch into dinner. You have to buy yeah. another dinner slot. Like there'd be slots at each time in the day. Well, I don't know about that. I think that Dad. I think they would. Otherwise, you would have got blokes sitting in there all day. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, well, I'd been there. I'd been there for a couple of hours sometimes. Yeah, a couple of hours. What about when Homer gets sent to hell, and he says, um, <laughs> "You are," and then the devil says, "Oh, you asked for all the donuts in the world. Well, here they are." And he sits there, and like the, the devil's trying to punish him by feeding him all the donuts in the world. But then Homer finishes them all. <laughs> <laughs> You remember that episode? Oh, no. Of what? Uh, no, uh, and I won't must, be searching. No. <laughs> must have just been me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it must yeah. have just been me. Okay, Tracy says, Cooper, are you so inappropriate? You need slapping around the head. The be careful, Tracy, I might like that. <laughs> jokes to your mum are not on. Um, you're not Matt and you need full head in. Oh, sure. you're not I'm Matt. I'm not Matt because. Dark, and that's the one that apparently he gets around. Is dad allowed to make sexual innuendo jokes? Apparently. And I'm not. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, well that uh, seems yes. a little bit sexist. Well, I think that's towards your mother. <laughs> I think is the issue. I think that's what the problem yeah. lies. Well, who says you can't love who you love these days? Oh, my Lord. Don't I feel that's inappropriate. And Amanda also um, reminds us that boys' brains don't mature until they're 25, mm. so Cooper be better. He's um, about to turn so 25. So he's 25 this weekend, so um, you better hurry up. Happy okay. birthday, So Coops. two of the same people said – it feels like both of those messages were sent together. No. Two separate people, Tracy and Amanda. Mm. Okay. Yeah, anyway. you get a lot of hate out there, Coop. No, they I just, do get a lot of hate. You know, these th are my people, and they just, I'm either hated I or before. loved. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like Sometimes some both. Stuff. Well, it's better to be like that than just be beige. Um, I've got a little story know. for you guys. Yeah, uh, can, here we nah. go. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Cobra, it's not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> better to still, be beige. Jack, I want to ask you: Do you still get hate messages for what? For Recipe like just for footy? No, I, I'd never really got any when I was playing. To be fair, didn't you? No. People but like still well, yeah, no, it's different. The positions I play very different compared to your position. Your position had a lot of like, t like high pressure moments, whereas my job during football was more like do your job, and there's a lot more to do right than there is to do wrong. Whereas you had those fifty fifty moments a lot. Yeah, I still get hate. Yeah, I, I, bet. I still get hate. I commented on uh Harry Grant put up a picture the other day of him advertising something. He plugs just about everything. And I put a little uh, – and he had the big scar from Origin 2 mm. and, like, the stitches. And I said, like, the uh, in Batman, I was like, how'd you get those scars? And uh, then some bloke – it just started going off. Like, all these people – Harry's followers must have thought I was being serious going at him. People were going, uh, mate, he got it from playing NRL. Maybe you remember that. And then it was people going, mate, you're um, – you're so soft, you would have never gotten scars like that. And then I had some people kind of go to my defense going, I think he's joking. Yeah. And people going, nah, f this little shit. And I was like, Mike is And then Harry just replied, I was going to come back and roast you, but I, I think everybody else already has. Mate, isn't it funny how people, people on 
social media must be so literal that they don't actually get. It's the sign of stupidity, mm. the highest of st- uh, the highest of stupid yeah. when a person does not get when it's humour. But I will say it's hard to pick up tone sometimes. Yeah, you can't get sarcasm. Can't be really. You know what I mean? But surely it. you you join the dots. Cooper yeah, but played maybe with some Harry. people don't. Cooper know that lived such good with friends. Harry. Well, not not many people know that. Yeah. Oh. You'd be naive to think, Cobra, that everyone thinks yeah, that. That is true. Yeah, we are naive you, you to think my, that everybody knows everything about our lives. There's, there's a few. One of the, one of the guys I work with sometimes will throw things out just for a bit of entertainment. He would throw things out on Twitter, and it'd be stuff like that he knew that was wrong, and it was just completely ridiculous. And say, right, let's go fishing for what people come back with. And people were so stupid mm. that mm. they take it like take it seriously when it yeah you know, couldn't possibly be. I've got, I've got, I've got a mate that has uh, a few of those burner accounts, and he he'll just go fishing on like club pages and that sort of stuff, and just try and get like as soon as like something comes out. Does he work this boy? He works, Trish, mm. and he uh, he uh, tries to get the top comment by like just triggering fans, yeah. and it is one of the great laughs. Mate, one of the ones he he did once was like uh, St George Illawarra. We're going through a tough stretch, and he went. He, cause, and Darius Boyd had been back at the Broncos for about two or three years and just ready to retire. And he goes, he said, this club is a complete joke. Darius Boyd should be back in first grade. Where is he? And the people come back going, oh, duh, mate. He's actually like, you know. He's been going, retired. Sorry, mate. The joke's on you. <laughs> Oh, Radio, yeah. is that uh, is that uh, have we wrapped things up? Yeah, I've got to go and get my pizza dough. It's oh, up on yeah. the deck yep. in the sun. I hope it's right. Yeah, well right. done. It'll be okay. Good stuff today, Trish. I look forward to it. We're going to making pizza tonight. Si, I'm, I'm pumped for it. What sort of pizza are we going to make, Bob? The Scogs are coming over. He's going to bring some of his salami and pepperoni. Mm. Oh, we haven't said yet. Um, I've yet a mixture. What about uh, <laughs> be cheese and we, and there'll be cheese? Could, some you know what I'm going to do, Trish? It. I'm going to go down to the IGA. I'm going to get some pineapple. No, 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 senor, no. Yeah, I like no. that. You like that? Yeah, no. get pineapple. No, someone said today, um, a friend of hers does pizzas, and one and the best one is finely chopped potato. Oh, yuck. A um, bit of olive oil. And rosemary, and they reckon nah, it's amazing. That's, that doesn't sound great. Right. Oh, nah, okay. Leave, like the, tomato, leave the recipes. I've got to that, me. Thanks, some Trish. pork and, and <laughs> fennel sausages you cut oh. up and get the, uh, yeah, the meat that, out of, and good. also some chicken feta rocket. Trish, Trish, Trish. Yeah, yeah. Recipe of the week, Dad. Hey. No, oh, leave it for Jack. You leave the cooking. My pizza. Leave the cooking to Jack. He's not. Right. No. Nah. Okay, let's wrap things up. Jail. Trish, go back to your dough. Uh, Jack, go back to your workout. Cooper, go back to your cage. See you guys. <laughs>